through an extra year. Okay, so all I have to do is go in and plead happy. Hey, you can go in now. I'm here regarding my result. I checked my MC before to yesterday and I failed. Sir, so I was told you can assist me. I've never carried over any course before and this is my final year. Change your, your F to A or change your result with someone that had A. Come on, can't you talk? I, please, I, I just want an upgrade to a D, sir. I don't want an extra year. So, what do I get in return? I don't understand, sir. As a matter of fact, I, I'm going to help you. I will upgrade you to A. Thank you so much, sir. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, thank you very much. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you. Don't do this, sir. Uh, please. Listen to me. Nobody will know about this. And as a matter of fact, you're walking out of this place with your A. What's it like this now? Hi, guys. And you are? She's Susan. She has an appointment with Dr. Alfred. Oh, this is. Thank you. So, what's the problem? Susan, I ask why you're here. Do I need to tell you? I'm here to see the lecturer and not you. Oh, I see. I only ask her why she needs to see Dr. Alfred. I mean, she, she, she was so disrespecting. Somebody who will be laid in the next minute by a lecturer or in the name of Max. You know, most of these guys, they don't know what they're here to do. When they have issues with Dr. Alfred's cause, their friends tell her to come and plead. And they come here with the mindset to come and plead. If Dr. Alfred's cause is that easy, I mean, they won't be failing his cause the way they do. My own payment, <laughs> bad guy. Bad guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> but what if the girl could happen to be your own? Ah, uh -uh, Harry. No, no. Nah. <laughs> Please, sir. It wasn't my intention to miss your test. Well, intentional or not, the bottom line is that you missed my test. And um, initially, I wanted to make it 30 marks. But now that I know that you missed it, I'm making it 50 marks. Hey, please, sir. All I'm pleading for is for you to redo the test for me. That's what we are here for. To redo the test. I can't do that kind of test, sir. All I need you to do is remove your top. Now, if I look at them, try to evaluate them, and I am convinced that everything is intact, I might as well be interested for us to do adult play. And at the end of the day, you go with your 50 marks. And nobody will know it. Nobody will know what happened. So, let's get to work. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Um, you want me to remove it or you're removing it by yourself? Don't tell me you're putting this heavy makeup to go see Dr. Alfred. What can I do? I need to look beautiful. I need just one mark to pass his course. Either I look beautiful or not. He's still going to demand for sex anyways. Even just for one mark? <laughs> Amber, the best is not to have issue with Dr. Alfred's course. Because irrespective of what the solution is, the solution is to get laid. 
But why hasn't anyone reported this man yet? To who? To the rightful authorities, of course. Have you ever wondered why the VC and Dr. Alfred bears the same surname? Coincidence, I guess. People bear the same name all the time. Wait, are they brothers? No one knows how they are related. But they are blood relatives. And reporting Dr. Alfred to the VC is just like telling the VC you're tired of being in this school. So... Not me. Wait. So you have not gone and seen Dr. Alfred since your wonder level? No. I have never and will never have a reason. Okay. Okay. Oh. I will remind you about what you just said, Madam Virgin Mary, by the time you have the time to. When is he coming back? Hey, Isabella. I should be the one asking that question. Why are you in a hurry? I'm seeing Dr. Alfred before you do. Wait, 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 wait. Are you fighting to get laid? You are also in a hurry to get laid. You know, I can actually make you get laid and still not get what you came here for. And who are you? Dr. Alfred's wife? See, the last time I checked, you are just a student just like I am. And the difference between me and you is I read for all my exams. Why you get laid for scores? Then why are you here? Just one mark. I need just one mark. Just one mark and you'll be laid. Just the way I, who needs all the required marks to pass, will be laid too. So shut up. See, Sabella, I need to go in first. I wouldn't like it if anybody sees me here. And why are you in a hurry? I need to see Dr. Alfred before you do. Really? You think I came here to sleep, right? Everyone knows Dr. Alfred has been sleeping with you back to back, so nobody will be surprised to see you here. Oh yes, he won the two of you in at the same time. What did you say you are here for? Um, sir, I need just a mark to make a D. You gave me 44 in my MC before also, sir. Well, in, in that case, you have to come back. Come back? Look, what just happened now is a punishment for you two exchanging words in my room. Who told you you can come here and rain insults on yourselves? Eh? What kind of a total disregard and disrespect is that? Please, sir. I can't afford to add any more carryover on my list again. Sir, I need just one mark. If you come here, you go. Hey, hey, wait. Hmm? Do you see the way that Dr. Alfred was looking at you in class today? Come to think of it, you're not the first person telling me that to do. But. Then again, I can't be the only one he was looking at now. I mean, he's a lecturer and it's only right for him to look at his students while lecturing, you know? Really? Yes. See, to be frank with you, those stairs, they were lost, fool. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> you started the day. They ah. were lost, fool. My darling, I am not and will never be one of his friends. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eh, hey, babe, that reminds me. I remember you said you wanted to go and meet him concerning your last result. Was he able to do anything about it? Um, yeah, he he said he would change it, but he hasn't done it yet. Uh, what did you? No, ha, no. I only pleaded with him. I didn't sleep with him. See, I told him that I don't have any other carryover course, and his course will cost me an extra year in this school. My darling, you are very lucky. 
Because I don't think other girls get it freely like that. Wendy, let's not talk about this again. Let me just pick what I'm going for this evening class. And then I'm just going to sleep a bit. I don't know I need to sleep a bit before we go for this class. Did Dr. Alfred actually come here? No, but I have to see him. You know you can't see him if you don't have an appointment. Then whatever emergency test, I haven't even read for that cause. All right, all right, I'm coming. I'm on my way. I'm coming. I'll be back to see him tomorrow. Whether you like it or not. I'm going to see him, definitely. The fact still remains, if you don't have an appointment with him, you can't see him. Come on here. He's busy. Good afternoon, sir. I can't remember giving you an appointment. Sir, I came to complain. Last semester, you gave me D in your course, despite all I did here. And now you're giving me 5 over 30, sir. How about? Vera, I never said your score would be determined by your performance in bed. Look. You scored 5. 5 out of 30. Well, you can come back for your upgrade. I guess you know what to do. Just meet any of the boys. They will book you for an appointment. Sir, just just give me half. Half of that 30, sir. Half. At least. Vera, if you cannot come back for your upgrade, you can as well go and make do with the five mark you have. I know even in the final exam, you cannot even make 20 marks. Hence, you are failing this course. All right, sir. I'll come back for an upgrade. Let me just book an appointment. Come back here. I'm very, very tired already. I've done a lot of upgrades today. But, um... I need you to remove those, those clothes. Uh, let me stare at your beautiful body. Huh? Come on, keep that bag and, 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 and remove those clothes. Let me stare to your, to your body. You're telling me you know. I don't think so. I can't. I can't. I don't know why he wants to see me, but I don't have a good feeling about it. Obviously, it can't be for something good. Dr. Alfred cannot send for a girl if he's not sexually related. Yes, the fact that he said I should bring you, that means you're about to be late. God forbid, me and Wendy. <laughs> God forbid you and Wendy. That was the same thing I said when I first got to this school. Yes, he sent for me and I did not go. You know, I reported to a senior and she told me exactly what I'm telling you now. You know, when I got to my 200 level and I discovered that I carried almost all the whole courses in my 100 level. Yes, I did not even stop there. He made sure that all the whole lecturers that he was in good terms with failed me too. That's the truth. So you gave in? Did you say so I gave? Of course, I did. I had no choice. You know, the way he was failing girls, I was so scared of my life. And since then, he just taught me to his sex slave. What? This is a secret, and I am not supposed to tell you what, what is happening there. But as my friend, I just have to tell you to go and meet him. Yes, you just have to. You don't have any choice. If you don't go, you'll find yourself in a big mess. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes. And as my friend and my sister, <laughs> I have to tell you this. Just go and see him. Please. You just have to go and see him. If not, you are in a mess. Isabel, I can't. I can't go. I've never done this before and I'm still a virgin. You're still a virgin. Okay. <laughs> it's none of my business, so you just have to go and tell him that maybe he will consider you. You think he will? I'm not sure. I'm just saying. Are you going in or not? No, no, no. I need to go to my hostel. It's late. Do you think here is a relaxation center where you come in and just walk away? See, I'm not here for that. I'm only here because Dr. Alfred hasn't changed my grade yet and I came to lodge a complaint. Listen, whatever the case might be, go in there and meet him. See, I'll come out. Hey, me. Are you joking? What? Leave me alone, Joe. Do you think you can walk away from me after I've informed him that you're here? You don't like your life, do you? Aren't you taking this so personal? I don't care about your life. All I care about is the money I get here. I will advise you to go in there and lodge your complaint. Whatever the prophet decides is going to be between you two. But for now, you are leaving this place tonight. Please, sir, I came to tell you that my result has not changed from F. And it's been almost four weeks now. Um, take this from my rubbish on my back. What are you waiting for? You have to lie on this bed before you can do it. Please, sir, I really have to take my leave now. I only came to tell you that my school result hasn't changed on the portal yet. I can't remember who you are. Sir? Listen to me. I said, I don't know who you are and I don't know what your issue is. Sir, I came about a month ago regarding my MCB fall to resort. Isabel brought me. And? I, I've slept with him, sir. She promised to upgrade my grade, sir. Well, I, I, I can't remember who you are. Neither can I remember sleeping with you as you claimed. Sir, you asked me to write down my name and my matric number, in which I did. I said I can't remember who you are. Don't you get it? Look, I, 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 are, you, are you trying to lie against me? I'm really not lying, sir. I came. Look, one more word and you will spend the next year in this school with me. What's wrong with you? Um, you are going to spend the night here with me. And um, in the morning, we'll look for a mark wherever it is, and hopefully, we'll find it and we'll give it to you so you can go. Please, sir, don't listen to me. I really can't do this anymore. Please. Now, look, if you don't do it, you are going to stay in this school until you become a grandmother, and you will still not pass this course because you still have to go through me to pass it. And you know how important it is to you. Don't be stupid. I'll spend the night, sir. Good. Now take it. Come on, do your job. Stop crying. Do you want to hurt yourself? She has been like this since last night. Even though he wasn't our dad, we feel your pain, girl. See, babe, I lost my dad when I was nine years old. Trust me, I know how it feels. Please, just stop crying. 
Cry will bring back the dead. I hope you know. Exactly. Do you want to hurt yourself? <laughs> You don't know how I feel, girls. I feel like I've lost everything. I lost my dad. And I lost my dignity too. Mm -mm, don't talk like that now. Losing your dad is not the same thing as losing your dignity. That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? Let us know. You remember, I missed Dr. Afrite's test. Mm -hmm. Because I went home to see my sick dad. Mm. And I decided to meet him to assist me, and he promised to do something, only if. <laughs> only if. Wait, wait, don't tell me you slept with him. Hey, hey! And the most painful part of it is that, after everything, he did not give me any score. Same here. I mean, I asked for just one mark. He didn't even give me half of one. Eh, uh, until you two. <laughs> See, babe, it's okay. Don't cry any. <laughs> Doctor first boy. Hello? Hi. Am I speaking with Wendy Leonard? Matric number 146789, Department of Microbiology. Ye yes, you are speaking with Wendy. Okay. Why are you calling me? Why does Dr. Alfred want to see me? How am I supposed to know? You should know because the information is reaching me through you. That's because this man does not have a phone number. Mm. I have a feeling you know something, but you just don't want to tell me. Mm. Do you think I have your time? Give me my phone. Maybe. Give me my phone! Nonsense. It's not your fault. <laughs> mm. Why does he want to see me? I have tried my best all these years to avoid this man, eh? I even pass his course. I can't see him. You can't I cannot see, see him. I cannot, cannot see, see him. him. Are you telling me? You should not tell your grandma that I want. I cannot see him. I cannot see him. Don't see him now. <laughs> I'm just waking up. Kids, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Pity my situation. I just lost my father. And things are rough for me emotionally already. <laughs> Why are you here crying? What do you want me to do? Raise your father back to life? All I'm asking for is for you to give me a test call as promised. I can't afford to, to fail a course and have an extra year. And my father has been the one sponsoring me. And now he's no more. <laughs> now, do you think that the loss of your father will give you a test score? Now, you need to wake up from your dream. That's not what I'm talking about. It's not about my father. It's about me getting laid and not getting any score. Oh, you want to get a test score and then you just came here once? I don't understand, sir. Look, you want me to give you a score without script and you just came here once? You must be mad. But you never tell me that I have to keep on coming before cutting yourself on me. <laughs> Did you say I forced myself on you? Did you just call me a rapist? <laughs> Ma, get out of my office! Get out of my office! <laughs> Stop, please. Please. Have sex with me. Go as much as you can, but please, don't fail me. Oh. You want me to show you how a rapist behaves, right? 
I'm going to show it to you. You disrespectful daughter of a goat. What do you mean? You only told me I was going to go to that cold room or whatever you call it to plead. You didn't tell me I was going to be slept with. That was a month ago. How does that relate with the way you're working? Can you imagine that after sleeping with Dama, he didn't change my grade? Isabel, I went to him to complain and he asked me to spend the night. He went four rounds. No, I can't even walk well. Four rounds? So, has he changed the grade? Not yet. That one is wicked and heartless. Probably he wants you to come back. I fell into his trap too. That he turned me into a sex machine that he wants to use anytime he likes. You know, I can't challenge him. Yes, that's the truth. Because if I do, my forthcoming exam will, will suffer it. I really cannot go back there. I'm tired. Just four hands and you're tired. Okay. Um, I'm going out. Um, we'll discuss about it when I come back. Are you going to his place? I've been sleeping with Dr. Alfred because of 300 level course. Uh, I would have preferred you doing it, but he said he won't still let me pass, even if I retook the course. He said the only option I have is to keep giving him my body till he's tired of me. I never imagined I was going to find myself in this situation just because of one mark. I mean, I found her threesome with Tim and Isabella only for him to tell me I have to come back to work my one mark. I'm not happy about this. But the earlier I realized I don't have a choice, the better for me. I thought I was going to close my eyes and do it once, but I was wrong. Now that I've done it once, I can't still afford to have an F in this course. Bringing in ladies for Dr. Alfred wasn't Desmond or Sarah nor my plan. You see, we, we were selected from other students to do these dirty jobs for him. And you know, putting our academics on the line was nothing to think of. So we just had to do whatever he wants us to do, just to graduate like every other student. Can't you plead on our behalf? At least for him to free us. Well, honestly, the only thing I do for Dr. Alfred is to bring in ladies for him. But I still would advise you just do the needful as you've always been doing so you can graduate in peace. These days are my worst days so far in this university. I regret it. Oh, you regret being in this school? No, sir. You regret me being your lecturer? No, no, sir. Ma, do you know in this nation there are only very few of us in my discipline? And among all of us, I am the only one that graduated with first class. The school authority knows my what? The government knows my what? Everyone knows my what? And you regret doing business with me, right? No, sir. No, sir.
by your next. Hi, sir. I was here before. I came to plead for just one mark for my MCB402. Were you. Hey, enough of that story. Just come closer. Um, there's something I want you to do for me. I really overworked myself today in the office, and the whole of my body is telling me it lies. So, um, I need a thorough massage. I don't understand, sir. What is that you don't understand? Come and get out of your knees, I need to walk. Please, sir, I don't know how to massage. I've never done it before. Now, when you get out of this place, I don't want to ever see you around here again. Okay, sir. Will the one mark be added this time? Let's start the work and then hope for the best. She's been like this all day. Let me go to the health center now. Oh yeah, let me take you to the health center. Come, 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 come up, come up, come up, come up. Come up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pregnant. She can't be. Why can't she be? After all, we all know who's going to be responsible, if truly she is. I hope it's malaria. Malaria indeed. <sighs> Isabel, are you okay? Girl, talk to me. When last did you see your period? Come on, Vera. It's just malaria. <laughs> Let me ask her questions now. Uh -uh. Does this look like malaria to you? She's been sleeping all day and now she's throwing up everywhere. You better go get tested and let Mr. Alfred know on time if he's expecting a baby. I don't know what you're talking about. We do. Even if she's pregnant, we too, we don't have the right to laugh. Both of us, we can equally get pregnant the same way. Or Vera. Does Dr. Alfred use protection with you? I don't know what you're talking about. I beg you, let's stop deceiving ourselves. Let's stop pretending. We all know that Dr. Alfred is sleeping with every one of us in our department. Even if you're brilliant or not, he has his way of making everyone need his help. Let me take you to the hospital, Jerry. Come, come, come. Let's go. Let no, come, come, come. Let's go. Guy, it's so weird these days that the doctor does not have an appointment. If I am not not it will just dry. Come here, it's their choice. <sighs> Let's be candid, brother. I mean, what he does to those girls is really bad and you know it. My guy, Eric, eh? that is not your business. Eh? Either good or bad. Thank God for not creating you as a girl. Come. I guess I really suffer. See, I'm sure these things happen everywhere, even in other schools and in other departments. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you because it happens in offices. I mean, bosses tend to sleep with their co-workers. And, you know, for those who don't accept, they end up being threatened to be sacked or maybe it's been sacked. Even in religious places, spiritual leaders, they sleep with their workers and members. I don't really see this coming to an end. See, people who do these things are people who feel that there's power in their hands and nobody can do anything about it. Hmm. You've got a point there. I think Dr. Alfred does this, his atrocities, just because his brother is the VC. I know. See, I heard this one could behave just like him. Hence, there is nothing wrong with Dr. Alfred's atrocities. Seriously? I'm telling you. Well, 
We just have to play alongside his atrocities. I mean, we just have to graduate and you know it, bro. My guy, Eric. My guy. I've told you several times. Eh? Forget about sympathy. Forget about this guy's predicament. And mind your business. You can't help them. But you can help yourself, my guy. Hmm? Chairman, let us drink to a walk free day. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Yeah. <clears throat> Can't you understand what the problem is? When is he around? He's not coming back now. And even if he comes back now, you cannot see him because you don't have an appointment with him. Oh, please! Stop the procedure death front! I'm here for something serious and I must see him! I'm doomed. I tell you, myself. Isabella, wait. Are you pregnant? Yes, I. I let the pies uh, in the Nigeria Okay, let me find her. What? Look, at this. Please, please. 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 What? I'm pregnant. How can you be so careless? Careless? Sir, this has nothing to do with carelessness. You were the one that came inside of me. Don't keep quiet. Don't you know how you, you guys used to handle it? How much is there, see? How much no, is no, 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 no. Not anymore. I can't. I can't do this. I'm begging you. I can't do this again. I have done it three times for you. And I, I, I don't think I can risk my womb again, please. And besides, my cosmates, they all know that I'm pregnant. It would be a shame if I remove it. Look, let me try and get it right. You, you are trying to have a baby for me, right? Oh, that's what you're thinking. It's your child and it's your responsibility to take care yes, of it. Yes, and it is my responsibility to give you money to take to get rid of it. Look, you want to be a baby mama, right? You cannot be my, my baby mama. I have my wife and children and I don't want any more kids. You need to get it into your teeth core. You won't believe that after Dr. Alfred's class, he sent Eric to tell me to come meet him in his car. And what did he say? That I was playing with fire because he summoned me and I didn't show up that I should get ready to get burnt. I don't even know what that means. He meant every word he said. I know that I don't want to sleep with that man and I don't want to lose my virginity to him. My dear, you have to lose something. Either you lose your virginity or you forfeit your graduation. We have been placed in a position of no choice. We came to school to learn, make good grades and study hard. But now, our IQ doesn't matter anymore. Our seriousness doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter how much we read anymore. Our bodies are now the tools to our success. She said she's here to see Dr. Alfred. You don't have an appointment with Dr. Alfred, do you? Appointment? What appointment? I only came here to... Listen, you cannot see Dr. Alfred if you don't have an appointment with him. So I advise you, you fix one now and come back when it's your turn. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? I am here to see Dr. Alfred and I will see him today once and for all. Sorry to disappoint you. Dr. Alfred will be in his office today. Okay, no one I'll wait till he comes. Sharon or whatever your name is being called, what is your problem? My problem is that Dr. Alfred released everyone else's results, but he did not release mine. That means you have a missing script. No, that means he intentionally removed my script. But he did not like it at all. But the bottom line is you have a missing script. No. You guys were the same set of guys he sent to torment me last semester. I made sure I read for this exam so well so that even if he failed me, I would confidently come and ask for my script. You should know you can't play pranks on Dr. Alfred. As for you two, 
I hope you know that one day you'll be fathers and you'll have daughters and your daughters will go to university. The same way you're being used by a lecturer to truncate the lives of young girls is the same way your daughters will... How dare you? How do you talk to me like that? Listen, don't you ever bring my born daughter into this. If anyone should hear what you're saying, it should be Dr. Afraid. Because we're also in this mess. If you don't like what you're doing, why have you not looked for a way to expose all the goddamn things that happened in this godforsaken place? This month. I mean, you, you don't need this. And as for you, Sharon, it's better you start thinking on how to get your missing street. Don't you think? Instead of ranting here, I mean, just do something. Think of what to do. Girls who are other than you ended up being late. You think your case will be different? Now let me tell you, you better fix an appointment now and come back and search for your script in that room. My name is Sharon Igudo Onyema. I am a final year student of microbiology department. This semester has been the most challenging for me. Something is said to stop me from scaling through. Be it man or the devil, I am here to find out. Just get to sleep here. Yeah, my miss too. I thought she would have gone home when we said we were going to bed. Even if she's bent on seeing Dr. Akrat, couldn't she have gone back home and come in the morning? I pity her though. I was the one Dr. Alfred to to search for her script. He hid the script somewhere else in the last layer of the wardrobe. He said he's not going to bring it out until he has a good time on her. Just that. She's lucky. Dr. Alfred that I knew would have torn the scripts. I mean, she should do the needful and then uh, get her results to herself. She knows what is good for her. She should stop being stubborn. I mean, it's just sex. I don't know why some girls act. Dr. Alfred sent for me. Did he see the reason? No, he didn't, but he has been sending this month to me for weeks now and I have been ignoring. Only to see him two days ago and then he told me that me, I should get ready to get burnt because I've been playing with fire. I don't have any other choice. Huh? Precisely. I'm about to lose my virginity to a lecturer. You are... You know what, Wendy? Just relax. When Dr. Alfred arrives, I will go in there first. Will that change anything? Uh, I don't know, but... Enough about me. Why are you here? Hmm. Well... <laughs> Mine started just like yours. <laughs> Dr. Alfred made several advances at me. I refused. I stood my ground and I didn't give in. I, I hoped that if I wrote the exam so well, even if he failed me, I would come and ask for my script. <laughs> but he had other plans. He intentionally removed my script and, and declared I had a missing script. I'm here to plead, not to get laid. You think that is possible? <laughs> Wendy has an appointment with you this morning. Well, Sharon has been here since last night. So I'd like to see you first, sir.
Hello, sir. Sit. No, I'm fine like this. Thank you, sir. I told you to sit. So why are you here? Sir, I wrote your last exam, but I didn't see my results. So? So I came to plead with you, sir. Please, kindly release my results. If you are here to plead, you know what to do. By now, you should have started removing your clothes. Because the only plea I listen to is Dr. Alfred. Stop. Don't stop. Please, Hada. Please, ship my womb. Please come. Please don't come. That's what I understand. I did nothing wrong, sir. I attended all your classes. I wrote my best, my assignments. I wrote the exam so well. There is no way my script would have gotten missing, except someone intentionally removed it. Oh. In that case, go and look for your script where it is. Because when I was marking the scripts, I didn't see your own. Or better still, you can come back next year and rewrite your exam. Jump on my bed. Let's do business. I will do no such thing, sir. Sir, so you mean I have to sleep with you before you release my script? Exactly. And that is very simple. All you need to do is to jump on my bed. And let's have some few minutes together. That's all your classmates do. They come here and they sort themselves out. That's how you see them flying in flying colors. And who knows? <laughs> your script might be found. But you're old enough to be my uncle, sir. I beg your pardon. Uh, well. That's straight. Just a few minutes and then the deal is done. <laughs> and there you go. 